hey guys so welcome back to my youtube channel after a long time yes i was really busy in my schedule but the biggest news is now that the release of debian 12 it is the one of the biggest release in the linux world because this will be the heart of many other operating systems that are that are called uh, um, debian derivatives so uh, let's see that how you can install debian pure debian as a daily driver and what are the changes in the debian 12 now i'm just uh, going to the website the main website and this is you can see this is the debian website this is the traditional look it maintains now uh, you can see debian 12 book one this is the code name and uh, one year nine months and 20 days of development okay now this stable version uh, 12 is released okay and the previous version was the debian 11 bullseye now the changes are huge really huge now debian is not obsolete you can't say that okay and debian is now fully usable with the latest software somewhat and stability it's super stable now uh, now uh, one thing uh, they have made now a new repository they have created for non-free firmware this is basically uh, the repository created from the non-free softwares now uh, what are the desktop environments that ships uh, with the debian 12 now you can see that now all uh, you will see uh, and you will notice that all the desktop environments uh, is in the latest version except uh, gnome of course but it is one step behind just one step behind so it ships with the gnome 43 and you can see kd plasma 5.27 lxd and lxqt mate all are in the latest version okay latest edition so you will get the latest feeling latest technologies and of course user responsiveness you will get uh, with these uh, desktop environments and you can see 11,000 new packages has been added and some obsolete packages 6,000 obsolete packages has been removed and also uh, you can uh, uh, read these things and all the versions of the softwares listed here now uh, maybe you are a linux user or you uh, want to begin with the linux system but most of the cases uh, uh, nobody uses the pure debian okay uh, they may be uh, using uh, some uh, debian derivatives such as mx linux you can see uh, in the distrowatch website now debian is in the sixth spot okay and mx linux yes it is of course uh, debian based and also linux mint debian edition lmd that is also based on debian okay so uh, you can you can check that now to download the debian uh, you can see this is the download button so just click here now uh, this is the net install cd uh, almost 700 mb of size now you need an internet connection to install or uh, install the operating system but i will rec not recommend i will not recommend to use this yes now so where uh, you have to download now you have to come here getting debian the small link is here now click here now you can see uh, this is a small installation image and it is a complete installation image now uh, this uh, for the 64 bit now these torrents are available you can see this is the complete this is the complete debian you can see this is the complete uh, iso uh, of almost uh, 3.7 gb of size uh, you can install uh, but uh, without installing you can't try from this actually so i will recommend to use the live system yes this is this is the most uh, suitable way uh, that you can uh, use debian and also this traditional uh, iso uh, uses the traditional installer yes that is the old installer and it is not user friendly yes and if you are linux uh, beginner then it will be a horrible experience for you to install debian okay so don't go with these things now what you have to do just a uh, little uh, scroll down and here you will get try debian live before installing now this is the option i will recommend to use now for the 64 bit torrents you, you are getting here just click here all right and here you are getting all the torrent files of the different flavors of the debian okay so uh, what uh, desktop environment you love you can download from here you can see this is the debian 12 cinnamon edition gnome edition kd lxt lxqt mate and one standard and one xfce now actually this uh, gnome edition a little bit uh, of uh, small size compared to the uh, traditional um, 
ISO. Traditional ISO uh, was of uh, 3.7 GB and it is 3.2 GB. Okay, so yes, uh, so it will uh, help you. So definitely, if you want to try Gnome Edition, so just uh, download this torrent and in and uh, download the ISO uh, from any BitTorrent client, such as Transmission or Qubit Torrent. Okay, all are open source. Okay, so this is the way uh, you can. Uh, actually download Debian okay I, I am recommending and now uh, one more thing that with this live ISO you can try live um, ISO uh, before installing so that uh, make sure that uh, all the hardwares are uh, working properly and also uh, the installer is Calamere's installer here yes uh, this live edition these live editions are not using the traditional installer but the Calamere's installer and it is pretty much user friendly. Now it is in uh, 2023 and nobody want to use the traditional installer. Okay, the Calamere's installer is really user friendly and you can very easily install Debian 12. Okay, and also if you are using the Debian 11, you can also upgrade it, just uh, replace the uh, uh, sources.list uh, file uh, the name bullseye with the book one and adding the non-free firmware repository now after downloading the iso you have to make a bootable pen drive either using ventoy or belena Eacher or rafas whatever you like now you can see this is the boot menu uh, in the uefi firmware so this is valid for the modern computers having the uefi firmware and this menu you will get and here you can see this is the live system right So just enter. Now this is very nice uh, splash screen or you can say uh, the Plymouth uh, uh, animation uh, image you can see this is very much good, good looking and I really like it. And this is the GNOME desktop you can see initial setup English language next location services okay skip okay all done okay now this wallpaper is really nice and i definitely like it now uh, for installation uh, you are uh, this is the debian installer and this is the calamere's installer the password is live a live v e live now just click next this is choose the location i'm in india i'm choosing the location of india next this is the keyboard layout make it default and now Either you can erase the whole disk or you can do manual partitioning. Also, if you have already an operating system, suppose Linux operating system, you can replace that partition. And also you will getting uh, the uh, installation of the uh, EFI file system and uh, you can choose which uh, EFI file system you want to use if you have multiple FAT32 partitions. Okay, and uh, here uh, all things are empty so you can just uh, erase the disk and you can, you can do that. So I am in the UEFI firmware, so three uh, three partitions you need, one is uh, EFI file system and one is the root file system and one is swap. So all things uh, it make, so these are the default things, so just click next. And now you have to choose uh, your username, set the username and set the password, I am just setting my password all right click next and this is the summary so you can see it's pretty much fast and pretty much easy to install and now click install and you can see now the installation uh, has started and now in my pc in my ryzen 5 processor in my pc it took five minutes only five minutes to install so super fast installation you will get here so after installation let's see that um, how it looks and what the how you can make this debian 11 usable for your daily driver now this is the brand new debian 12 and this is the nice brand new wallpaper okay traditional look but good of course and also you can change the wallpapers from the, this changing the backgrounds so very beautiful wallpapers are there and also in the di uh, dark and light mode uh, you are getting from here so it's awesome of course it's awesome and uh, let's see that uh, what other things uh, you can do with the Debian 12. Now to, ins uh, to use uh, this Debian 12 as a daily driver, okay, you need uh, something, okay, and you need to do something. So first of all, just uh, open up the uh, GNOME software. 
and here all the softwares uh, you will get and from here you have to enable uh, some uh, repositories some non-free repositories so go to software repository and uh, here uh, i have enabled uh, this uh, this is uh, non-free dependency that is the contrib and this is uh, non-free software so these two repositories i have enabled later these these repositories are not enabled by default okay and you need this because because uh, suppose you have the nvidia drive uh, nvidia uh, dedicated graphics card so you need nvidia driver so so these uh, sof uh, these software repositories you have to enable after enabling this just uh, reload uh, the things and uh, just reload these things and uh, you are getting all the latest information of the apps and wait for some time to load the uh, thumbnails and icons okay so you need to wait uh, somewhat for 10 minutes okay to load all the things because a huge collection of softwares are there almost after enabling these uh, non-free uh, softwares uh, six above 64,000 packages uh, you are getting in the synaptic package manager uh, if you uh, look okay so you can use also this synaptic package manager okay so this uh, thing uh, you have to do first and now second thing you have to install some extensions and before that you need to install install the extension manager from the gnome software here from here you can uh, install the extension manager you can see this is the extension manager this is wonderful software to manage the extensions to install uninstall and uh, you can change the settings of the extensions so this is amazing amazing package and now i'm going to the uh, extension manager and here you can see the tiling is awesome and uh, so these are the uh, pre-installed extensions okay now you have to enable these user themes because uh, to change the uh, gnome shell theme you need this and you can um, install any themes eye-catching themes from the gnome look.org website so many themes are there icons and gdk themes and shell themes cursor themes and now i'm showing you guys now this arc menu this arc menu is very very useful because in the uh, in in the gnome session because uh, you know uh, these are the wayland gestures amazing wayland touchpad gestures are there and these are the uh, softwares but there are no uh, software explanation okay which software is for what it is not mentioned and that's why i'm uh, i'm using this arc menu so uh, here uh, you are getting uh, many things okay some extra information about the software you are getting here right so this is very very useful also these uh, these things these uh, things are uh, fancy things okay burn my windows if you enable this so you are getting some great animations of uh, opening and closing the windows and also uh, many animations are there you can adjust from the settings here so it's awesome really it's really fancy and also dash to dock so if uh, you enable it so you are getting the dock right so this dock is very much useful so that's awesome you can also enable uh, the uh, maximize and minimize uh, buttons from the uh, tweak tool now uh, if you go to the tweak tool so you can uh, change the cursor theme icon shell themes and all that you can you can change from here and also uh, go to go to the window title bars and you can enable the uh, maximize button and also minimize buttons so these the, uh, these will be very much uh, useful to you definitely and uh, and now uh, the desktop cube animation now if you enable this then you are getting a cube like thing you can see that so this is also awesome yes and also internet radio this is uh, very fun you can uh, you can listen up uh, the uh, radio stations uh, from here just clicking it and also in the settings you can add new stations just uh, put the name okay just put the name and uh, a web search uh, uh, will go on and you can install many things uh, i'm in india and i have installed uh, these uh, these stations okay radio mirchi and city hindi radios okay so that's a, that's are awesome okay many uh, other extensions are there okay 
and uh, so debian 12 is awesome now who should use debian 12 now who now those people who need super stable distribution super stable operating system so uh, this is the debian okay and uh, if you don't bother about something older packages somewhat older packages okay so uh, you can uh, install and use debian as a daily driver because it is super stable all the extension all the packages are thoroughly tested okay and uh, it, it, it 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 takes time okay so debian 12 is awesome and i am uh, now making it my daily driver replacing the pop os operating system okay so so other things you know probably about the gnome 43 all things you know that okay in the about section you can see the gnome version it is 43.4 and the windowing system is well and so that i'm recording this desktop with the obs studio okay because simple screen recorder uh, wouldn't work in the well and session okay so that's all uh, i have today and if you if you enjoying this video hit the like button subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon okay so thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye